All right, budget nerds, there's two features you've been asking for that every dollar finally added to the platform. I'm gonna be showing you those today. Hey everyone, Craig here, and I'm a financial coach who's passionate about helping people break out of the paycheck to paycheck cycle so they can finally find some peace of mind when it comes to their money. Now, every dollar, as you know, is one of my favorite platforms when it comes to budgeting. Um, I've been talking about it for years here on YouTube, and they constantly are adding new bells and whistles. And so there's one thing that people have been asking for since I started doing videos on this in 2016, um, and it's insights. It's, it's downloadable data. It's things that can show you how you've been doing over time, being able to download your budget into an Excel document. Now I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that and if if you're able to based on your every dollar subscription. Now before I dig into that, I have a free gift for you. It's a financial freedom roadmap. Guys, this is my step-by-step -step guide out of the paycheck to paycheck cycle. It's going to show you exactly how to go from point A to point Z to reaching financial freedom. You can snag that with this link right up here or in the description below the video. All right. Let's dig into my computer here, and we're going to be looking at the different things. So Insights is brand new. Now let me preface this. These are only available if you are an every dollar plus user. So as of the recording of this video, these are only available when you subscribe to every dollar plus. Now this is my sample account here, and so um, you'll see some insights. So it's over here on the left. It's the second one. Right now it's labeled new. And what it's going to do is it's going to give you some data based on your usage. And so you can change it from the past six months. You can go to the past year. And it's going to collect what you've been spending, what you've been earning, what you've been doing. And it's going to collect some data for you. And so right here you'll see some spending totals. What I like is you can change the groups. You can just focus in on how much have you been saving. You can focus on how much have you been setting aside for housing, all those things. Or you can just look in general, what is the majority of your money going to? How is it spread across? Over here as well, you'll see a breakdown of by month. What is your average that you're spending each month? And again, you can break that down by groups. You could come to lifestyle um, or let's just say you want to find out, um, let's do gas. You go to transportation and you go to gas. You want to see how you've been doing on your gas spend each month, and it's going to show you that. This is great when you're trying to pinpoint what you should be spending. Now you can go back to last year and look and say, okay, uh, my electric bill. Um, let's go to housing. Let's go look at my electricity. What did I spend? Now this is, again, a sample account, so I don't have data before April, but you could go back and look at last year and see um, if I went to the past 12 months. And we're going to come to uh, housing. I'm going to come to electricity. And so you'd be able to go back and look, and maybe I'm trying to pinpoint what do I spend in the April and May months, and it's showing that I spend an average. I spent 63 and 74. So maybe Next year, when I'm planning April, I'm going to put it around 63. If I'm planning May, I'm going to put it around 74. So it's going to give you some good data based on that when you're making your budget projections. Down here, you can take a look at your income. It's going to show you how that fluctuates. It's going to show you your average. So my people out there who are not on regular incomes, maybe it fluctuates. This is going to save you so much headache right here. It's going to tell you what your average is. And again, you could do past three months. So if you want to see what that looks like, if you want to see what your past six months looks like, it's going to give you a great average on that. Mine didn't change because this is only th three months of data. And then over here, it's going to tell you income versus spent. If this was a real budget, I'd be in trouble. But it's going to show you, have you been earning more than you make? Um, or have you been earning more than you spend? And so we want to keep that in line. Insights is great. My guess is that it's going to continue to become better. Um, you can even see up here at the top as of right now, they want to know how they can improve it. They want to know if there's things that you wish were there so you can start submitting your feedback. And truthfully, they're really good about utilizing this feedback and making changes based on it. I mean, the fact that this is here is based on feedback. I think this is one of the number one uh, complaints that people had was that the there wasn't any reporting. 
The other complaint a lot of people had was that you couldn't download it to an Excel sheet. So if you come back over here to the budget and you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see this brand new feature and it says download as a CSV. This is to download it as an Excel document. It gives you just a great glimpse into, into your data. If you're somebody who likes to have these spreadsheets on Excel, you can now download it. I personally don't, I'm not gonna really utilize it, uh, but if you are working with a financial coach and you wanna send them your budget, that's a great thing you can do, is you can just download it and email it to them. Um, great thing to do. All right, uh, let me know what your questions are, guys. This is two features that have been recently added as of the recording of this video. Are there things that you are seeing that are being added that maybe I haven't talked about? Drop those in the comments box below. Or let me know what you think about these. Are these great? Do you think they're lacking? Uh, would you, do you wish there was more? I'm sorry to the free users. These aren't available to you maybe one day. Or I'm not sure. Maybe they're just going to keep it as a feature to even more incentivize people to sign up for the Plus. I'm not sure. But let me know your thoughts and your takeaway on this. All right, guys? And, of course, if you found this video valuable, I do tons of videos on every dollar. So either you can subscribe, go through my past videos. If there is something you are looking for or unsure of how to do it, Odds are I've recorded a video on it, so be sure to search through there and you can find it. Or if there's a video I haven't, let me know what you'd like to hear about, and I just might do a video. All right, I'll see you soon. Thanks for joining me.